Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to start modeling. In the last video, we just set up the scene and set up the reference image, and now we're ready to start modeling. So I'm going to delete this box. The only purpose of this box was to align the images to the center. I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to create another cube. This cube will be my alligator. I'm going to put it right in the center, and I'm going to uh, adjust some subdivisions I want to subdivide it into fourths here, x, y, z. So two on the um, three on the y, and one on the z. One in the x, right there. Uh, why one on the x? This is the left side of the uh, alligator. This is the right side of the alligator, and this is the center. Uh, why did I do three uh, up and down? Uh, because I want to be able to have a polygon so that I can extrude the arms. So this is the top, and this is the bottom, and this is the, the center of the alligator. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, size it to the size and then move it to the center, and I'm going to size it uh, to about there, and this will be the start of our alligator. Now in the front view, start to make this rounder. I'm gonna select this, W to move, and then move. start moving these two points. Uh, and I say two points because when I drag select them, I'm grabbing two, the front and the back. If I do just click once, if I just click and then drag it, I'm gonna leave that one behind and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna drag select both points. And then I'm going to drag it and start rounding off this shape until I get a, a, a round, here we go, a round shape. That's the cross section of the alligator here in the middle. You can see it here on the top view. We can see it here in the side view. Here in the perspective view, I'm going to go back to face mode, face mode, select all these faces. We can, we can, uh, hold down the tab key select all of them real quick and now that I have all these front faces selected I'm going to start extruding um, towards the front of the nose I'm going to hit F just to zoom in a little bit zoom back out and let's go ahead and start to do this I have the move tool selected I have these faces selected and so now I'm going to hold down the shift to extrude there we go. Uh, R to scale, proportionately, W to move. Now we've already done this before, guys. Remember, uh, we've I, I, we did the extrude tool exercise, and we've done this extrude just with the shift key here, and we've extruded this shape just by having the move tool with the shift key, and we can extrude. So we have this, we're gonna uh, hold on the shift key, extrude, size, and then move them back. Now, I, I wanna put this right behind the arm because the next extrusion will be in front of the arm to leave the polygons for the arm. So hold on the shift and extrude all the way to the front of the arm, R to scale, Remember, I'm clicking on this uh, middle one to, to scale proportionately. W to move, shift, extrude, and then just adjust it. Again, hold down the shift to extrude, and there we go. I'm going to just adjust it a little bit more and just slightly out. And I'm going to stop there because we need to extrude the upper jaw first and then the lower jaw. Uh, but I'm going to go to the back and extrude out towards the tip of the tail. Go to the perspective view. Deselect these. Let's go ahead and rotate. Select. I'm going to hold down the tab key. Select these six. And then do exactly the same out towards the back. Now that I have these selected. I can go to hold down the shift, extrude, and scale. 
or scale proportionately. Adjust it and then hold on the shift again to the to the start of the leg to the front of the leg right about there R scale W hold on the shift key extrude to the back of the leg this will be our leg R to scale proportionately W to adjust and then Let's extrude the tail. Hold on the shift, extrude. And I am going to rotate just a little bit so that our tail can um, rotate along its angle. Again, we did this once before when we extruded this way. We extruded and then rotated, extruded and rotated. So. Uh, we're doing the exact same thing as that exercise scale and adjust hold down the shift extrude I am going to rotate R to scale proportionately and then W to move hold on the shift extrude E to rotate R to scale and I think I'm gonna leave it there W to move hold on the shift move E to rotate and R to scale W to move hold on the shift maybe a little bit further R to scale W to move, hold on the shift, extrude, R to scale. W, hold on the shift, extrude, R to scale. And then the tip, I'm just going to extrude a little bit and scale it in. And that's our tip. Spacebar, let's go to our uh, perspective view to check our work. And that looks like a... Uh, a snake so far so what we're going to do in the second part of this video is model the head we're going to do it uh, I'm going to select these these vid, these uh, polygons and hit F but uh, what we're going to do is just select these two top polygons that one and that one and we're going to extrude all the way to the tip of the nose and so let's go ahead and start extruding this one it the W to move hold on the shift extrude and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow along this the mouth this shave this curvature and don't worry about the top we will fix that later so shift extrude one behind the eye one in front of the eye right there there's the eye and so we're I'm just going to extrude 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 and then one last one well maybe one last one um, and then I'm gonna scale and then one last one to there and then scale and so now um, the bottom of the mouth looks good, but the top of the head does not. And so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go to vertex mode. Select these vertices and just move them down. Select these. Move them down. Select these. Move them up. Select these. Move them up. Select these. Move them just a tiny bit down. Those are good. Move these down. Select these, move them down. Select these, move them down. I'm gonna select this one and then move it to about right there. Select these two, move them down. And select these, move them down. There we go. There's the, the top part of the head. Easy. Now only thing is that when you do this, we've neglected the top view. 
This is the top view and that doesn't look good. Uh, if we see our, our um, perspective view, you will see that it's too wide. We just need to narrow it down here in the top view. So I'm gonna select a bunch of points, hit F, and then zoom out a little bit. And then we can uh, just we can just move these around. So I'm gonna select both sides, shift, both sides, R to scale, and then scale them in. In fact, I need to do that to this, this whole row. Uh, and then I'm gonna select the whole row, select the entire row, and then scale in only in the X only in the X I'm, I'm only adjusting the top view so row by row I am scaling and notice the center one stays at the center that's why I'm allowed to scale these in scale Select these and then scale them in. And then these and then scale them in. And then last these and then scale them way in to create that tip. So now we've got the nose modeled both in the side view and the top view. And this is looking good. That's looking good. For the bottom jaw, uh, what I'd like to do is go ahead and bring this one up this the this row of vertices remember if i just select one you're selecting only one you have to drag select the whole row what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move it up to there so that i can select these two and i can start creating the bottom jaw i'm going to go to my side view and i am going to repeat all the sections up here holding down the shift key I am going to mimic the top. So one more, and I'm only concerned with the, the, I'm not concerned with the bottom part. I'm only concerned with the mouth part. So I am going to repeat what I did for the top here in the bottom. That way I have equal amounts up to here look at that bottom one that's not good so let's go to vertex mode and do the same here for the vertices i'm going to select these two move select these two move select these two move And I'm just going to adjust this one back a little bit. There we go. So the side view looks good. What about the top view? The top view does not look good. We have to adjust it to the image. But now the top view is kind of in our way. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to select these vertices here. And I'm going to select the entire um, top part by doing a shift period to expand the selection. Look. I selected only these front ones. Shift period expands the selection. So I'm selecting more and more and more all the way to here. And then I can hit H to hide. Now, we've hi now we have that whole top of the head hidden. And now I can adjust the top view of the lower jaw. I'm gonna go to vertex mode do exactly what we did. I'm gonna hit R to scale and only scale in the X. I'm only scaling in the X. Do row by row. You have to um, drag select or marquee select 
each row individually. Since this is the bottom jaw, I'm not going to do that uh, that little one right there. I'm just going to keep, keep it straight. And then finally, these. Right to there. That's the bottom jaw. And there we go. There we go. We have a bottom jaw. There's the bottom jaw. To bring the other geometry back, uh, just go to display show show all and there it is there's our uh, alligator we have it done we have the entire body object mode f we have the entire body except for the legs and that's what we're going to do next in the next video Hey guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.